What is going on guys, TeamAcePiv22 here. Today I'm going to be making a tutorial on a 2D weapon made in the widget blueprint. So it's a pretty simple method. It's better than my original 2D weapon where I just use sprites in front of the player character. Um, so I'll just call this um, first person shooter 2D weapon. There we go. And there's a couple things that you need. First of all, you need your sprites um, with a removed background. So I'll show you an example here. And for some reason, they're, they are labeled backwards. So it goes 4, 3, 2, 1, which is fine. It doesn't really matter. So pretty much what you want to do is, first of all, select all of them and right click and select Sprite Actions, Apply Paper 2D Texture Settings. This is only for pixelated guns. This just makes it so um, the pixels are more clear, like this. And then you're going to go to the chroma key texture and select it. And then use the eyedropper tool to select the background. And then set this to um, a value like 0.5 that will get rid of the, um, the blue pixels. Okay, so I have all four frames of animation um, with the backgrounds removed now, as you can see. And you don't need to turn them into sprites or materials, which is a plus with this method rather than my other one. Next, we have to create a widget blueprint. So you can go to user interface and select the widget blueprint here. I'll call it HUD or heads up display. And what you want to do is drag the image here into the canvas panel. This will give you a little box. And I'll set the, the width to somewhere around like 500. So let's do 475. That looks all right. And then the height I'll set to maybe 600. Okay, maybe like 500 instead. And then the anchor position will be the bottom middle here. Now just line up your image. Okay, so next I'm going to go to the brush and just for now I'll set it to my basic shotgun. As you can see, this part here is a little bit off center or it looks that way, but it shouldn't be when we play it in the game. So you're going to click bind here and create binding and you're going to cast to the first person character blueprint and then for the object we'll get the player character. Now we need to create some variables in the first person character so go into the blueprint here and we need to create four different variables. Um, the first one I'll call four, then three, then two, then one. These are for each of our frames of animation. And the reason I went from four to one instead of one to four is because um, these are labeled a little bit weird. It goes from four, three, two, one. So next you can delete the um, VR headset thing, all of this, you don't really need it, but I'm going to keep it in just for now, it doesn't really matter. So at the end here, we're just going to set each of these like this, there we go, and then after that we'll have a delay. for about 0.1 seconds. I think that should be fine. And then start with four or your first frame of animation. So then what we want to do is just copy this and 
paste it at least four times since I have four frames of animation. Actually, we'll need one more. You'll go three, two, one, and then you'll go back to your first frame. You will then need to connect all of these to the next one. And since this is a shotgun, I want it to play four, three, two, one, then two, then three, then four, so then it plays like a pump action. You don't just pull the shotgun back and then it just pops forwards. So what I'll do for that is um, copy some of these right here. And instead of going back to the beginning, I'll play two, three, and then four. So I don't need these last two. There we go. So now what we're going to do is copy the return node um, four times, or however many frames of animation you have. And the return value will be um, make brush from texture. Um, you can just copy and paste this four times as well. There we go. And then we'll need some branches. So we'll need um, to connect these from the false You'll see why in a second. Drag this off a little bit more. And then I need to get those variables we created. So if I do get four, then true will go to the first return node. And then if that's false, then we'll get three. And if 3 is true, it'll go to the next return node. And then we will get 2. And if 2 is true, it will go to the third one. And then if this is false, that means it has to be the, the first frame. So it'll go here. So now just connect your variable. Like I have variable 4 here, so the first one will be texture 4. Then I'll go three, then two, and then one. And that should be pretty much it for the heads up display. We just need to go to the event begin play, drag this out a little bit, and then type in widget. And we're going to create widget, sorry. Here we go. And then the class will be your heads up display that you made. And then we'll just add to viewport. And then um, we're going to hide the, the arms and the gun. I'm not going to delete them because the, um, the projectile spawner is connected to the gun. So what you want to do is you can scroll down or look up hidden in game you're going to check these so then when we play the game there we go um and one thing i forgot to say is that your first frame of animation should be checked as true when you start so then you start with your first frame and if you want to remove the um the yellow ball that the gun fires all you need to do is go into the um, projectile blueprint and for the sphere just um, look for that hidden in game and check it as true so now it's working pretty good and another thing you can do if you don't want your player to be able to do this 
um, you just need to go into your first person character and create one more variable called can fire and then right here we're going to create a branch and if the player can fire then they will shoot and then we will set can fire to false and then after all of this reloading is done then we will set um, can fire to true again and that should be everything so now oh yeah we need to set can fire to be true at the beginning okay so now when you press play you can shoot and that's everything so thank you guys for watching this video if you want to see more videos like this please comment down below what i should make thank you guys for watching teammates 522 out